Alright, so since I won the Bulk of Bearings prize, I have a bit of money to play with now. So, I'm going to buy some uh, parts for the exoskeleton. So the biggest question you guys had was, how am I going to make it portable? And the answer is a lithium-ion battery with a um, constant duty air compressor and probably a scuba diving tank held at an extremely high pressure, like 5,000 PSI. So I found this site called Horn Blasters. They seem like a pretty cool company and they make uh, air compressor systems for um, cars and trucks for train horns. So I want a constant duty air compressor and I'm looking at the 480C they're pricey. Now this can go up to 200 PSI which is great and it's good for 100% uh, duty cycle at 100 PSI. And it runs off 12 volts and let's see draws 19 amps Oof. but it only weighs 11 pounds so it's pretty expensive though. I'm gonna see if they have a um, maybe a refurb one. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. So I can save uh, 70 bucks and get the, uh, the reconditioned version, which is exactly the same, completely rebuilt. So I'm also going to need a tank. Um, I've been looking at this one. It's a pretty nice little black tank. 50 bucks, 2 gallons. Looks good. Um, now, since I'm getting the compressor by itself, I'm going to need the uh, a pressure switch in order to turn it off at 80 psi. So, sorry, 200 psi. We'll grab this guy, and I'm also going to be needing some the valves, just general shutoff valves. And this website seems to have some of the cheapest prices. I've even tried sourcing these from China and they're really expensive so I'll grab a few of these let's get two and two of these and just in case I should also get Uh, pressure relief blow off valve. So just in case the tank overflates, over inflates, then uh, this will blow out at 235. It's meant for a 200 psi system. So grab one of those two. Now uh, I've actually contacted this company and I told them what I was building. So they're actually going to give me a 15% discount, which is awesome. So uh, huge props to Horn Blasters. Uh, they said they'd send me some uh, stickers and stuff, so I might throw some on the exoskeleton. But yeah. All right, so I'm just going to try and uh, sketch out my idea for the uh, the air system schematic for the exoskeleton. So my plan is to have two air tanks on the exo. One will be the main tank, which is held at 200 psi. But then there will also be a scuba diving tank held at 4500 psi. So the the air compressor I just bought will fill up the 200 psi air tank and then all the cylinders off of that tank are powered from here. So that goes to the EXO. Now the 4500 psi air tank that will have to be charged before using the exoskeleton because the air compressor for that is very big. But what we can do is we can take that 4500 psi and we can have a little pressure regulator to drop it down to 200 psi. So this allows the system to work in parallel. Now there's a few benefits of this. 
One, if I want to use the EXO in uh, silent mode, then I can just, I can turn off the air compressor, because air compressors are really loud, and just use the reserve tank. Alternately, if I just want to use the battery power, which I think will be um, lithium ion, then I can turn off the scuba tank. Or I can have both run at the same time. Because the, the way this air compressor works is as soon as this pressure drops to 165 psi, it'll turn on again until it hits 200 psi. So I could set this pressure regulator down to 165 as well, and then it will equalize. Alright, so I just ordered the air tank for the 200 psi and the air compressor. So I still need to get a 4500 psi air compressor and I still need a scuba diving tank. I'm hoping to make a deal with some local scuba diving club to be able to get like a used tank for cheap or maybe even free. The big problem is the 4500 psi air compressor, those things are expensive. They're typically two to three thousand dollars. So I don't want to invest in that yet because there goes half my prize winnings and that would be kind of silly at this point. Uh, the other thing I'm going to need is a battery to power the air compressor. Um, so what I'm looking at is an electric bike battery. So lithium ion and I have found a 48 volt pack at uh, 20 amp hours for around five, six hundred dollars, which isn't too bad because it only weighs about ten pounds, which is amazing. And um, it's it's the equivalent to I think two or three big car batteries, so that's that's pretty awesome power density. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll try and do some more updates like this with uh, what I'm going to be spending the Boca Bearings prize money on.